Well, hi guys. October 2nd, 2018, FCC approves new rule to limit local authority in 5G rollout. You know, what is so frustrating about what is taking place is that every single day it becomes more and more obvious that we are not living in the country that so many Americans are thinking we do the delusion how do you cut through the delusions the the, the lies the uh, I it's it's really just what is taking place is uh, really extraordinary very extraordinary because it's so clear now it is so clear that something is terribly wrong and yet most Americans just go on business as usual not changing a thing uh, many unaware because they're still getting their news from mainstream media and how long have we known how long have we known how long have we known that Media has been consolidated into six companies. And those companies, corporations, Comcast, News Corp, Disney, Viacom, Time Warner, CBS. And then you look at the owners of these companies, and what do you come up with? You come up with like General Electric. Mass media has never been more consolidated and now six giant conglomerates control a staggering 90% of what media consumers read, watch, listen to. And as a result, many popular media entities have been consolidated and all work under the same umbrella corporation. The concentration of media ownership well, that has been known now for decades, but we allow it to go on endlessly. You know, our government used to break up monopolies. Now, they actually help, help consolidate more and more businesses for corporate control. And that's why we have, since Trump took office, we have been fed this endless Trump, Russia, Comey feed line, you know, feed reel. And that's why we are saturated in endless dramas and sex scandals and meaningless news lies. They never end. They get more and more obvious. We get saturated more and more. And it doesn't matter whether Americans have a college degree or not. Most are either unaware or do not care that the news they get is fed out of a very tight pipeline controlled by the quote-unquote elite. And that news is then dispersed throughout the population. There's no meaningful content. We do get lies upon lies or propaganda to um, achieve the elite's ends to implement their agendas. And there's no competition. You know, competition is either killed off or bought up by these media conglomerates. And th this is far more important than the Trump, Russia, Comey, the indictments, the thousands and thousands of indictments of all these people that are going to be arrested. Um, you know, it's the mainstream media will continue on feeding us lie after lie.
they're not loyal to their viewers they're loyal to their sponsors advertisers money trumps everything in this country and when you have a country where money that's the only thing that is valued uh, yeah Americans talk a, a big deal uh, you know they, they puff themselves up believing that they have these values that if you just observe how they live you know that those values are just words that, that they're not living their values everything's money everything's money this this is far more dangerous than anything we face the media consolidation and it's only getting more and more dangerous you know as mainstream media they're pushing this official narrative and it's the only one that's permitted we're seeing that the evidence is glaring of the censorship that is taking place and with more and more news outlets going to the internet closing down you know their their papers their their the papers that you hold in your hand and going to the internet as this censorship continues we are facing a world in which we will never be able to get to the truth about anything and the censorship of any narrative that stands in opposition to the official narrative is getting silenced you know it, it's happening more and more increasingly I got this from a a um, subscriber just yesterday challenging back seen scientism so this is the latest censorship that I, I've heard which is a recent article stating that Pinterest is deleting users boards if they post material questioning vaccine safety they're they're knocking off of Pinterest anything that is questioning the official narrative. We see Twitter literally delete what? How many millions of accounts? We see these conservative voices on social media getting banned. We see the search engines where we can't even find the information that we're looking for anymore what we come up with when we put in search engines whether it's Google or, or uh, Yahoo or uh, YouTube you put in you know search words and you get the opposite what you're getting more and more in search engines is what Google YouTube has considered authoritative news. You get mainstream media articles that are the exact opposite of the information that you're looking for. So this consolidation has become so dangerous and almost nobody is talking about the <laughs> how unbelievably powerful is the FCC it's almost like an independent agency writes its own tickets it has no uh, real congressional oversight and this is an article that everybody should read everybody should circulate how big wireless made us think that cell phones are safe a special investigation the disinformation campaign and massive radiation increase behind the 5G rollout. Uh, well, just in this article alone, and yes, it's long, okay? I'm sorry for those who don't have the attention span, you know, to read long articles or listen to a video that's over three minutes long. I'm still getting comments from people. 
you know, could you find me a three minute long video because my family won't watch anything that's 30 minutes. Well, guess what? You know, that reflects something very wrong with your family. And, you know, you need to know the details to fully understand something. And the details of the FCC, the rolling out of cell phones, no safety testing, and the industry, the telecommunications industry, their experiments showed that cell phones um, significant risk of tumors, cancer. They knew this before cell phones were rolled out. They knew it and they hid that data. They hid it. But what did Congress do? Congress always bows to corporations. Ah, telecommunications industry. Okay, we'll do what you want. So they unleashed a product that is now one of the reasons why we have an exponential increase in cancer. You know, we have, was it the CDC that came out and said, somebody from the CDC came out and said, it's going to be one in two that have cancer. It was not too long ago when I was growing up as a kid, cancer was whispered because it was so rare. The word cancer, it, you know, you didn't even want to speak it because it was just so rare and so scary. And now, well, we, we have cures, but we're going to, we're going to, you know, make sure that nobody really understands that there are cures. Oh God. We're just going to keep asking people to donate to organizations for a cancer cure endlessly. All right. You know, this is very, very, very frustrating. You know, you, you, it's like everything just is falling on deaf ears. But in this article, it will uh, really show you all of the, the revolving doors, the payoffs, the manipulations, the lies of this one industry, but you can just extend this kind of behavior out into every industry. And this is one of the reasons why we now live a friggin' nightmare of so many poisons assaulting us. But you'll see how powerful the FCC is. And when you read these mainstream media articles, like from the New York Times, the FCC opens door to more consolidation in TV business. This was Trump's pick to head the FCC. A telecommunication, a Verizon lobbyist and attorney. Please, please, please stop this. Stop this. Uh, yay, yay, Trump. Make America great again. Please look into the details of Trump, what he's doing, who he has appointed. You know, the, the climate change agenda continues to go on. Agenda 2030 continues to go on. The consolidation of more uh, media continues during the Trump years. And Ajapai, okay, so you read these articles and you're like, oh my God. You know, they, they throw in the, that Democrat-Republican um, dichotomy. You know, they, they keep, and it, it's really worse with this, the Washington Post article. And these are, this was November 2017. This was November 2017, sorry. Um, but <laughs> the consolidation continues under Trump, okay? Which means that less and less people will have access to 
anything that is not the official narrative. Under Trump, very dangerous. But in reading this article, I can't even read these articles because you know that part of uh, the, the uh, agenda here is to continue that, you know, left-right divide and get people really angry at one another. So they read in mainstream media this, oh, Trump has undone Obama regulations to get the leftists angry at now the right for undoing what Obama did, but they don't understand that all of it is a big uh, staging event for them to continue fighting, you know, going for each other's jugular. And if they could only understand that all of this is deliberate. If they could become aware or if they could begin to care that all of the news on the, in the Washington Post, the New York Times, mainstream media, all of it is fed through a very tight pipeline, controlled. Everything that you read, that you watch, that you listen to, is all controlled by the elite to manipulate you, to get you to hate you know, those people on the right or the left. It, it's, but it couldn't be more clear. So the Federal Communications Commission voted on Thursday to allow a single company to own a newspaper and television and radio stations in the same town, reversing a decades-old rule aimed at preventing any individual or company from having too much power over local coverage. Where is congressional oversight with these rules? Coming out of the FCC? Well, you don't have it because federal agencies are <laughs> The, the, the arms that implement the elite's agenda. The Republican Republican led FCC eliminated the restrictions known as media cross ownership ban in a three to two vote along party lines. As part of the vote, the agency also increased the number of television stations a company could own in a local market. Dangerous. Okay, so how do you get the great, how do you get this great um, consolidation going? Well, in local markets, you allow one individual or company to own the market in that region. And then when they consolidate the media in that local region, you get these corporations coming in to buy out that one company. And you get more and more consolidation. And, you know, for all of those Trump supporters, I really, even if even if I'm wrong with everything that I have said over the last almost two years, I will post a video publicly stating I was wrong. You were right. But do you really think one guy can fix all of the problems that we are facing? It takes everybody to act. Everybody to get involved in your own communities, to try to 
get this across, get this information across to those in your communities. Unfortunately, we are facing a real problem, which is Americans, on the whole, do not care about anything except their own comfort. And that kind of selfishness, narcissism, self-centeredness, well, when you think about that kind of narcissism, self-centeredness, selfishness within just a relationship, the relationship will eventually die. So when you have a society of that, that kind of person, you know, you spread it out throughout the entire society, eventually the society dies. It does. It just, it, it, you can't have, you can't have a majority of really immoral people um, and then expect to have a, a moral society. Um, so, look, you know, the other thing that I was thinking of, I, I got this from a subscriber today. Shocking banned photo raises questions regarding California's deadly car fire. And this was John Knox's video where he showed the house split apart. Also, this car incinerated, the home incinerated, but the bush is fine. But this right here. Now, I posted... Uh, a Plain Truth posted. I'm sure a lot of people posted John Knox's video. But how many of you circulated this, seeing it? How many of you brought this to the attention of people that you know in your life? But what we should have done was sent this, this photo, flooded mainstream media outlets with this photo. But all of that takes time and energy. Effort. And that is the one thing that we're lacking. So, uh, you know, we, we, I still get the comments from people. Uh, Americans are good people. And I'm tired of you blaming. Americans. Or I got a comment underneath the video I posted about uh, lifting up your soul, or I, I, I can't even remember the title, but the comment was, oh, here he is talking about the world crisis. There's nothing wrong with the world. It's the controllers. If people cannot see that, you know, we, every individual, helps to manifest the society in which they live. If you cannot see that, you're a long way from ever realizing uh, the truth. And you're a long way from ever being part of the solution. If you believe that it's just the elite, that it's just the controllers, that it's just the leaders, that it's just the puppets, then you are a long way from realizing the real truth. It matters what we do in our own life. And we can sit around and we can Keep believing our delusions. Trump is going to make America great again. And Christ is coming back to, or God's coming back to, you know, right the wrongs. Um, fine. That, I have no problem with you having whatever belief you have. I do have a problem when people never change, never change and, and really don't do 
anything to try to make this world a better place and tr try to manifest something different because the only thing that brings about change is change and we need a very dynamic powerful force of change happening in this world immediately and that means that everybody has to change change themselves do things differently I will link below to all of this but you know what look we have corporate usurpation of government not just federal local state it's in your face this is not the country that we even lived in just a few decades ago all of this has been incremental and mainstream media has been incredibly successful in getting everybody addicted to bullshit and never really asking what else is going on what else is going on and then you know I, I'm remembering because I was a news buff and virtually every station was regurgitating the same news every day the same news CBS NBC um, ABC the cable news networks regurgitating the same story over and over and over again so you could be watching CBS and CBS began at 6.30 it changed its time so you could watch NBC at 6 o'clock and then turn on 6.30 news CBS and just hear a repeat of NBC on CBS I mean that should have you know big questions certainly in my mind but the awakening is a process it's not it just doesn't happen overnight um, so so much has been happening behind the scenes that we were not paying attention to because we were too um, naive and kind of childlike in putting all of our faith in our authority figures. Everybody has to become an authority figure, their own authority figure, their own authority figure. And I'll leave you with this. This article, How to Turn the Tables on Authority Like a Fucking Genius. And I'm sorry if you don't like cursing. Um, in the act of provoking people to think differently, philosophers make it clear that we are not fated to live within the often stifling systems of thought that we inherit. We can change the subject. I read this article. I think it's good. Um, we all have to become our own authority. You know, and and understand how do people become authority figures? Well, they're propped up on mainstream media, and we're told by mainstream media that they're the authority, and people just believe it. So they're told on mainstream media that somebody's an authority and they just simply believe that they're an authority without checking them out, without checking out the information that is imparted from that authority figure. They just believe it. And that belief is sinking us today. So I may I don't know, read this article into a video, um, but it's, it's really important, you know, that you become 
your own master, your own authority, your own leader, and stop looking for somebody else to fix the problems. You know, my response to that person who said, uh, oh, he's talking about the world crisis. There's nothing wrong with the world. It's just the controllers. There's something so profoundly wrong with the majority of the world's people. And when you are brought up in a very sick society, you have to understand that if you are you know, within the majority, the bell curve, the bell curvers, as I call them, the well-adjusted, you have to understand that you're not well. You're not well. The only thing that defines you as well, that you're a bell curver in the majority. That's it. So I hope that everybody really just tries their best to circulate information, tries their best to change their own self, get involved in your communities. Um, the fact is, is you want to talk about federal overreach. Wow. FCC. Get involved in your local communities. Talk to your local town council men and women about this usurpation of their power and they're supposed to be representing you demand demand that they stand up to the FCC uh, that's the change that needs to occur and without it, you will have a 5G antenna right smack outside your home, all over the place. And if you're not sensitive to the frequencies now, you can look forward to getting sensitive because this is just a piling on of more frequencies. They're not, they're not letting go of 4G, the cell phone towers, the Gwen towers, all of the antennas all over the place. This is more dangerous frequencies to look forward to. All links are below.